In Romans 12, verse 2, it says, Don't copy the behavior and customs of the world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Now, let me tell you what that means. Often, as human beings, we copy the behavior and custom of the world. The world, your workplace, your home, your environment where you are in the moment. We get caught up in negativity, and we add to it. We often will become part of mob consciousness in doing this. We will hate something, and then the next person hates it, and then the next person hates it, and pretty soon we have formed a mob. It is the reverse of God. God is love. We live in the world, but we must not worship it. Our duty is to place God first and everything else after God. Now, placing God in God's rightful place is sometimes very difficult because, as I said, we get sucked in even without realizing it when it happens in the first place. And uh, then we put God in a secondary position in our minds and hearts. Uh, we often will try to ignore God because we decide to go this way in our thoughts and our feelings. Sometimes it's not just a secondary position. It is truly the back burner of the stove of life. Our world is a noisy and it's a distracting place. It's filled with countless opportunities to stray away from God's will. The world seems to cry, worship me with your time, your money, your energy, your thoughts. But God suggests otherwise. We are to worship God first and always. And we will not know true peace and true happiness until we do. I ask you this week, to place God in first position all the time. To try this week actively with every waking hour to do this. And to find at the end of the week the difference it has made in you, in your thoughts, in your feelings, in your interactions with others. You'll find that it has its highest reward.